but we're actually getting a Krom. Might be better just because like the consistent uh, hitbox across the blade, the sword, might help a lot with dealing with Wario. Wario, again, is a very mobile character in the air. And having these faster hitboxes but can actually knock Wario away might be a big deal here. And the recovery as well definitely plays a part. You know that, you know, the hand slap from Wario, that forward tilt can catch Roy at ledge. So to avoid that entirely, playing Krom, a character whose recovery is completely different, can really kind of enable an M to not lose stocks as fast when they're in disadvantage. So right. I like the thought process going into this. And so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Right now, yeah, definitely looking pretty good here. This, uh, this Krom is definitely helping out, okay? Just gonna be able to get to ledge, no real issue. And the bite coming in just for a little bit of extra damage. But right now, very even matchup between the two of them right now. Back and forth, back and forth. So the the tides turn for these two, and I'm liking the the safer Krom pressure there. You know, just the mm -hmm. down tilts and the quick jab pokes. But the second you touch my shield, Uppy's coming out. We like the, the aether. The second you touch my shield. The second you touch my shield, I'm aethering you so hard that no one's even oh. gonna be able to see. It's we like in those anime fights when like the the cloud like the big cloud of uh, dust goes in, so no one can see the fight. That's what's happening right yeah. now. It's so yeah. intense that we, we cannot be. Uh, uh, it'll hurt our eyes if we see. We definitely got saved from watching an absolute slaughter there, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what a uh, match it is. Very unfortunate. Um, you know what? Uh, it is what it is. It, it is, is what it is. What it There's is. not much we can do about it. But you know, mm -hmm. while we're waiting here, uh, Rain, where can the people back at home find you? You can find me on Twitter at Let It Rain SSB. Posting stuff once in a while, whether it's you know a clip or just more stuff about commentary. Uh, not too active, but just enough to let the people know and the homies know that I love them. And I love the viewers at home tuning in to watch this event, even though right now they can't really see much. Mm -hmm. But thanks for hanging in with us. No, absolutely. Thanks for hanging in with, uh, in with us. And you can also find me on Twitter at Skiff Talks. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just see my name right here in the chat. You spell exactly that in, tw in Twitter. You'll actually be able to find me. Um, I tweet, uh, you know, fairly often it's usually just whatever's on my mind half the time and i usually tweet out when i'm going on stream to do commentaries if you like what i do if you like what i'm uh, what you're hearing with my voice you can always follow me there i always tweet out but right before i go live and sometimes i uh i try to force interactions out of people by asking uh reply here if you want to see if i think i can beat you up in a tier list and i just did that actually yesterday it was a lot of fun i i don't know what it is but i really like making like just inane tier lists they're so funny to just... They're fun, okay, man. Let just me just, like, like find some random point of discussion <laughs> or some weird thing to do. And let me just start making tier lists out of it. You know, why not? Exactly. Like, when you start arguing, like, tier lists of, like, characters, right? You got to bring in, like, facts and stuff like that. But, like, when you start weird bringing in tier lists, like, <laughs> do I think I can beat you up? I bring whatever logic I want to to the argument, man. And, mm -hmm. and we just go from there. <laughs> Skiff thinks he can beat me up, you know? Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe you absolutely whoop me. I don't know. <laughs> I exercise. Yeah, I mean, that's a good start. That's a really good start. That's why I asked you what your bench was, so I can compare it to mine. <laughs> uh, bench doesn't mean anything to me if I like, because I told you if I grab you, we go to the ground. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna start twisting things and, and hopefully you just <laughs> say, please stop. <laughs> uh, pull out the ancient technique. Exactly, exactly. You know what it's all about. But anyway, as we move forward here. Uh, gonna be waiting to see. I don't know if either of these two stream, to be honest. You know, I can yeah, probably I'm not try sure. to check. On, you, know, uh, you know what I just realized? Chillin' Dude's eyes aren't on the screen. Where's he looking? What direction probably, is he looking at? He's probably looking at the melee containers or something like that. Yeah, he's well, hey, but MM it. took game one over nine Super Pie with the Krom. How it happened, we'll never know. The patience and the pressure were pretty consistent from that Krom, so it could totally be a leading factor. Mm. So tough to see but hey it looks like wait i think we're just getting the instant run back too yeah we are and you know what neither of the twitches connected to these guys um smash gg accounts i mean i don't know if they haven't been updated but so far uh, from what i'm seeing neither of them are streaming either so uh it is what it is oh maybe we're not we don't want the run back quite yet maybe yeah maybe we need time to uh consider our stages a bit then super pie wants to take their time maybe a little bit of a character switch you never quite know mm-hmm yeah, and it's crazy because like nine super pie, you know, we, they do have a really good Wii Fit as well. So it's kind of interesting to see them just kind of want to go back. I wonder if something happened in that match where they were just like, "All right, um, I made maybe they disconnected too." Here. 
You never quite know. <laughs> maybe Night Supervac could see his screen and was just pressing buttons. Maybe. <laughs> That's how I maybe, feel. Maybe they're watching our stream in order to fight. <laughs> that, that would right seem... Now. Imagine playing with a 10-second delay. Or oh, like, you know, however rough. many seconds. That is, sounds absolutely impossible. But uh, impossible has changed in the game a bit. And Night Super Pie with the quick combos to start out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm answering back. Yeah. Interesting to see that so far in game two. And uh, this is the run back as well. We're back on PS2. These two are back to scrap and no changes needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if Night Super Pie saw something that happened in the last game. Like, okay, these are the things I need to clean up. I'm ready to get right back into this game. I don't need to, you know, be changing anything. I don't need to go to a different stage. I don't need, to, I don't need Wii Fit. I can beat this prom. Uh, which usually when you see someone press start right away, it means that they, they feel like they did something wrong and they can find a better way out of this. I like that Yuppie barely missing the motorcycle. And can you edge guard this Krom? Not quite Ooh. finding the hit on top and getting swatted out of the sky for your trouble. That's unfortunate. Nine Super Pie down the stock now. A lot of percentage on an M though, so you can totally close this out if you're careful. I think what they were trying to do is they're trying to catch, uh, call out a higher recovery from NM, in which the Nair probably could have co collided with them as you know Krom jumps up and probably send them right back out. I think that's what he was trying to do. Unfortunately, that was super ill-advised. NM gonna be able to clean up that first stock, but NM's sitting about 147. Oh, yep, he's gonna be looking for those back airs, man. Super Pie loves to throw those out. I like that tech oh. thing on that platform. And ouch, that is brutal, my man. The forward smash, NM looking clean right now. But hey, that's nice. We're probably biting back with the back air. I mean, this isn't too bad. Honestly, because of its Wario, it is relatively even. I mean, we've seen the kill power, the combo damage, uh, just the damage output from Wario in general. And like, he could put down a lot of damage very quickly. And you know, you catch Krom off stage one time, it could be the stock right there. Like just, just cleaning it up. And then all of a sudden, you know, Krom comes back. You find another combo real quick. You're able to use that WAF to just absolutely eliminate the last stock. So. Super Pie's still in this. It's just a matter of just not getting caught up in NM's shenanigans, man, because NM's been putting these hitboxes out in the right spots. Exactly. The careful spacing that Krom brings to the table. And Waft is on board, but I don't think we've seen Nice Super Pie get a Waft yet today. So this is going to be so important if they manage to pull it off and keep themselves in the game here. I like that that's going to be more than enough to take the stock. The jump gone on NM. And look at that. Waft on deck. An 80% difference between these two. Can, he, can the Krom close it out? Or is uh, the WAP going to come up on deck and give Knight Super Pie a little bit of plot armor? Maybe. Oh, that Nair could have been a big start. But getting that shield out, 14% obviously is not going to be enough. And getting a parry on that Nair as well. This is actually becoming a tough spot to deal with. 126 and the kill power that Krom has, by the way, is also very crazy. A really strong back air of their own. Up air sending them right back up. This Whoa. is a dangerous percentage. Back air from mid stage, honestly, be more than enough. F tilt not quite doing it, 168% now. This is uh, very bleak for 9 Super Pie. Full of rage, so waft, maybe some magic can happen, but you have to get past the. Oh, the no! <laughs> oh, my God. And oh, there it dude, is. he just sat there in shield and waited, and then NM eventually just, like, just got way too greedy. Like, dude, he just sat there holding shield. Yep, threw out that forward smash, and then Super Pi just blew him up, literally. <laughs> oh my god. That was the waft 9 Super Pi needed to keep themselves alive in this set. When mm -hmm. the chips are down, that's when the plays come out. And that is rough for NM, who worked so hard that game just to crumble in the last six seconds. Yeah, man, that was, uh, that was actually really insane, dude. And that's the patience that, like... <laughs> that that nice surprise has been looking for just kind of sitting there and like i just i don't understand why like nm just threw out that forward smash he didn't have to i think they must have been waiting for like a roll in or some sort of aggressive option from from nine super pie or whatever and like he just wasn't gonna bite like you saw how long he sat in shield right like he was just he's waiting for an nm to get you know, impatient, and impatience cost him the entire game. I told you what was going on, man. He just had to close off that stock, and then Waft was going to be able to clean up the rest of it. Oh. So, game three now is on board because Nine Super Pie kept themselves alive after the brink. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe we're going to see a stage select now, a little bit different than games one and two. No run back this time because it looks like these two changed it out, but their characters are the same. Interesting to see where NM would want to go for Krom. That didn't. That PS2 really didn't quite work for. You know, right? It's well, I mean, small battlefields, similar yeah. platforms, but smaller. 
listen, I know we call it small battlefield, but it's literally just small PS2. I'm sick of pretending just because they name it one one thing doesn't mean they're correct, right? If it was small battlefield, we'd see just at the same platform layout as battlefield, but smaller. That's not what we got. And I think this is definitely a tribute to the fact that NM didn't kill nine super pie at like what one sixty percent. Like, okay, this guy won't die. Let me just kill him a little bit quicker this time. We're going to small battle. If I remember correctly, um, <laughs> I don't think... I think they have roughly the same class zones. Like, it, it might be, like, I think PS2s might be a little higher up top. That's about it. And you, I mean, you saw them struggling with the up airs. So, could maybe be a little bit of that, a little bit less space for Wario to kind of run in and mow NM down and more just careful spacing. But, oh, that up smash is brutal that's to be stock one for nine super pie mm -hmm. so yeah, i was just double checking so the the blast zones on the side are a little bit shorter but up top is actually the same as ps2 so uh -huh. you're trying to kill up the side yeah you might be doing a little bit better here you know you do have that smaller platform in general and look i mean he was gonna die on ps2 either way on that one let's, let's be exactly. honest <laughs> that is an omega dead wario for sure this might be an omega dead crom right now if nm doesn't find a way to turn this around I mean, they took that game one, but since then, it's been the ninth Super Pie show. The carefulness, I like that. Kind of the tomahawk into the falling up air, just mixing up movement. Super Pie getting caught up by all these disjoints, man. And I'm just having a field day here. Oh, no! You, oh, oh no. that's a big stock! The bike extension to actually trip NM up there is insane. That was brutal. And now NM is uh, is just kind of suffering as Nine Super Pie is running away with it. Oh, man. And there's there's the full waft, man. It's coming out to play here. 90%. NM's going to find a way to put the stock away. I think at Super Pie, yeah. That's, oh, they almost had the big read right there. Super Pie's definitely got this. He's just looking for extra credit now. He, you know, he's got 90%. He's going to put on as much damage as he can. He's going to use that waft as a last resort should he need it. But for now, it's just a matter of putting NM away. And the movement is immaculate from Nine Super Pie. You can see how they're kind of performing, how they're bobbing and weaving through these platforms. What? And oh my, that is actually <laughs> <What>? insane. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Yo, <what's... laughs> this game is insane. I don't. Sometimes I just don't get it. <laughs> he, he, he armored through the waft, <laughs> and then that dude, that upbeat. What? That looked like a bar, like a Luigi tornado situation. What was that? <laughs> I'm, I'm beginning to think somewhere in the oh. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate timeline that mistakes were made. I don't I'm know, not sure man. where, but somewhere. That was that was so weird. That was such a weird ending. That is bizarre, uh, but fantastical in its own way. Mm -hmm. So. Excellent work to nine Super Pie. Uh, you, uh, Crumb cheated because of the super armor from the upbeat <laughs> through Waft. Uh, but then you cheated right back with that weird corkscrew upbeat to just kind of completely throw NM off to the blast zone. So all's well that ends well, I guess. All according to plan. Awesome. Nine Super Pie got a, got a pretty fun warrior to watch. That, that, that was very fun. Sure. But man, that was... That was weird. Oof. That was some crazy stuff. Very... <laughs> oh man oh my goodness that was that that final stock threw me off so bad dude like i it was such he, a he, weird turn of events for like, the last 10 seconds it just he oh. up smashed right and then like because like his power stance so his legs were spread out and then wario's like hand like grabbed his ankle and said get out there oh. i was like threw him <laughs> like, that's uh that's that weird that aggression is uh, from Wario is quite bizarre in his upbeat. He, have you ever like corkscrewed through the air and go up so hard that you just like slap someone out? <laughs> yeah, you know from the other side. Like I, he like he like tickled Krom's ankle over here, and then Krom just went like over his head. More I, I don't. <laughs> Hitboxes uh, could be weird sometimes. They are weird. They game. are weird. That is. That's for just sure. that's just par for the course. So uh, respect to both players. Nine Super Pie sitting comfy in winner side. NM minimum ninth right now has to get in one more match to qualify. Mm -hmm. uh, but next on the list is actually Pokelam versus Fluffy. And this one should be interesting. Pokelam playing the Steve today. Mm -hmm. and what a character that is. Um, I mean, Pokelam <laughs> is a usually a villager main and a disrespectful villager. <laughs> that, that's for sure. Well, but, um, Steve's kind of a disrespectful character, so you know what? It all works out. 
the way the way that Pokeland plays Villager, it, it, you'd have to see it, man. It, it's mm -hmm. bad when when he knows that he is much better than his opponent. <laughs> he's rude. He's very rude. He but lets this, it be known. He let no. He lets it be known. Like one time, he he shield broke a Bowser, walked the Bowser towards the edge, right, and just jabbed one of them with Villager and just walked away. <laughs> like, and then, and then not only that, I think he proceeded to three sack him anyway. Like the dude's insane. Rude. Yeah, but the Steve, I, I have not seen the Steve yet. I think he's got a pretty good Steve, if I remember correctly. I think I was chilling out in the review record with him one time. Oh, there was a few people, and he was uh, he was streaming his his Steve quick play. <laughs> and it, it was something. It was an experience, that is for sure. It's going to be fun to, uh, to kind of see that in action, of course. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, you know, I said Steve was a disrespectful character, and that's, of course, when you pick him on the select screen.